The environment can power physical literacy because it provides an invitation to action, something we call an affordance. So the environment invites the person in to move. And then the other thing about it is the environment, if it's properly built, can also invite, uh, give challenges that build confidence, motivate people because it provides a social environment and the right materials that invite action. And the one thing, if we're leading in this area, we have to make sure that we understand from the perspective of who, because a child will see the environment very differently and what's a challenge to a child might not be to a youth and it won't be to an older adult. So we have to create spaces that allow for the perspective. The, the invitation is in the eye of the beholder. So leaders have to be very careful about that. And then build in social and motivation and connections and the opportunity for challenge. And finally, leaders really have to make sure they consult with communities and be really aware of the good places that will enhance the invitation. And sometimes we have to work with experts like designers that help us understand those various perspectives and how to allow um, the environment to do that.